Following the police invitation of President of Nigeria Liberal Congress, NLC, Joe Ajero, for questioning over allegations of criminal conspiracy, terrorism financing, treasonable felony, subversion and cybercrime, more critical unions, which are NLC affiliates, have given strike notices. Hello. Welcome to my News on Point, your pulse on trending news. To their members to proceed on indefinite strike should Ajero be arrested. Among unions that had already given the strike notices to their members are the National Union of Electricity Employees, Nigeria Union of Teachers, and National Union of Textile, Garment, and Tailoring Workers of Nigeria. Others include Iron and Steel Senior Staff Association of Nigeria, Fitters of Senior Staff Association of Nigeria, Nigeria Union of Agriculture and Allied Employees. To discuss this, we're joined by former national coordinator, Middle Belt Patriots, Zari Yusuf. Zari, thank you for joining us. The NLC affiliates are given thank you. strike. It's a pleasure to have you. The NLC affiliates are given strike notices. Should Ajero be arrested, not just in Nigeria, off our shores, the US-based union have petitioned the Nigerian embassy faulting the perceived harassment and persecution of trade unions um, and their leaders in Nigeria. We also know that Amnesty International, International Trade um, 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 Union, what do you make of this show of solidarity? Well, thank you so much. First of all, um, this show of solidarity tells you that the attempt, uh, I don't know whether to say by the federal government or by the regime that is currently in place to arrest uh, the NLC uh, leader is unpopular, is unwelcome, and to a large extent uh, is unfounded, I would say because um, uh, clearly as some people would ask what specifically do you mean when you talk about terrorism financing when you talk about treasonable felony when you talk about subversion and all of the crimes they listed against him so um, it, it appears to a large extent that even though I've never been so much of a fan of um, you know the industrial actions of the NLC uh, especially from the uh, coming of this regime but it appears to be the only body or the only aspect at the national level of you know a country that could basically question certain things could basically uh, reject certain things could basically uh, hold the government to account um, precisely it's it's a I, i'd say it's almost the last move at an absolute and a total state capture where basically every uh, aspect of the country is, is answerable to a particular individual regardless what the consequences of uh, you know the actions may be so um, I think these organizations are doing more than what we would refer to as solidarity with Ajero and more of a solidarity to what would appear to be the last hope of uh, you know Nigerians regardless how good or bad uh, their outings have been as NLC but I think that is basically what the solidarity is all about. It's not exactly about the individual. Much as I would say from the end of the government, it is not the individual per se, but basically uh, whatever will be done to NLC to basically put uh, whoever heads that place or the body itself in line with okay. regards to what subsequently we get to face in the country or what we get to receive from the government. One of the accusations is that the federal government is uh, using the police to try and undermine and intimidate NLC and its leadership with this uh, allegation of financing terrorism. Um, a guest yesterday on the news held similar view. He agrees that there is an effort to intimidate. I'm curious uh, to your view. Do you believe that there is an effort to scuttle uh, the NLC and the work that they are doing? Yes, like I said earlier, the NLC appears to be the last um, uh, platform uh, that Nigerians could basically uh, express themselves. Now, um, I would agree with his submission, your guest yesterday, and equally build on what I began saying. When you look at, you know, the judiciary, 
you look at the legislature of course the executive is already headed by uh, you know the president and uh, everybody in, in, in that cabinet everybody appointed is definitely uh, going to uh, dance to that particular tune but the next body that you would hope will checkmate whatever exercise or excesses that comes from the uh, you know executive arm would be uh, the legislature and then will be the judiciary and as far as those two are concerned those arms are concerned i can assure you uh, at least uh, 110% of nigerians do not uh, expect anything so now looking at the nlc which like i said is the last resort or the body that has uh, that seemingly uh, you know appears to have the platform where nigerians could basically ex- express their grievances and all of that of course people could do whatever they want to do without the nlc but looking at it as you know that congress that could do so I, that's why i said it appears to be the last or the punch of the government okay. to basically uh, castrate you know that body so that it falls in line and then whatever happens basically goes uh, uh, you know you know unchecked i think we have uh, time for one, one more that. question uh, for you um, going by the reactions yeah. so far on this show of solidarity um to Ajero and the uh, union do you expect any arrest come august 29 where ajero uh, when ajero honors uh, the police invitation um there, it, there are two things are likely to happen uh, the first one is it's unlikely that ajero will refuse to honor the invitation he had already said he'd go and he does not have a track record of uh, any criminality best best uh, you know as we know to our understanding now um i have always seen this government as the government that would always take an extra step to test the resolve of the masses so yes i do see a tendency of uh attempting to arrest him because they've, they've they've done a couple of other things that have had a far more profound impact on the masses than just arresting the NLC leader so yes i suspect they would want to arrest him and getting away with that would simply mean uh, uh the very last uh, point of any uh, uh you know mass action or any threats to uh, you know any industrial action has now become uh, ineffective against the government so they would attempt to do that uh to dare whatever it is uh the rest of the uh you know unions uh threatening to do you know to see whatever they would do that's one okay. thing and then uh what other thing i suspect is that they are threatening to do so um so that at least they get to someone him and then they get to put him check maybe they they, they threaten arrest just uh, as a way of forcing him to just show up and then uh, right. keeping uh, you know the label the, the NLC and the rest of the unions in check uh, and, and, and I think it it it, it spells yeah thank you yeah I was just uh, trying right to here. bot in thank you very much as always for speaking with us we appreciate your time all right thank you so much thanks for watching kindly subscribe to our channel god bless you